Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome back. I'm on today with um, a project share and a tutorial. I'm pretty excited about this tutorial because um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't make a whole lot of tutorials. Um, I'm not one to you know create things. I usually follow tutorials or you know I have dies and so I'm a die cutter so I use die cuts to make my project. But yesterday I was feeling a bit crafty and I got a lot of inspiration off Instagram and so I decided to try to re recreate something I saw um, just in my version and so because I'm not sure if that person had a cutting die for it which I think they did if I re remember their you know their post but um, anyway first let me share the embellishments that I created and I created these cute little cameras and I created this um, what is this like a hot air balloon shaker and so these let's see here I worked on these this morning because I found I was going I was going through my stash and I found this cute little camera die set that I have and so I'm not sure you know where I got it from but I have two of them and so it's nice because you can make multiples pretty quick and um, so this is what I came up with and again I'm still using my doodle bug lots of love collection which I'm almost done with so I smashed that one pretty quick which I'm you know I'm happy because I want to start using up my collections before I stop crafting and so I've been focusing on this collection which I think is really cute and so yeah so I used some gold foil paper just propped it up with some foam to make it dimensional and I think they're really cute to put on projects and this one here this die let me see is right here I just got this recently um can't remember where I got it from though once I take it out of the packaging sometimes I can't remember because I get so many sometimes at once um if y'all recognize this I'm not sure where this is from but anyway so I used some of the pieces and this is what I came up with and I used tool as my shaker for my shaker and um, this is this just the ephemera from the lots of love collection and I just backed it with some heavyweight cardstock so it's sturdy and the banner is from the collection from the die collection here and I also use the bow they have two different type of bows and I put it on each side oops so yeah so that's my project shares um, my embellishments that I created and then this is what I came up with I made this cute little camera box which I think is a good size it's um, four by six by two and it opens like this and you can house a lot of you know goodies you can send to like you know uh, your swap partner or happy mail so like all of this fits inside here along with I just found some random things to put in here so I have like this set here of ephemera or embellishments that are pretty thick then I have two packages of flowers I have these um, flea market pins that I just found and then here's my shaker so obviously I would package them put these in like self sealing bags but just to show you like, that's how much um, items you can put inside and then you put the box on like so I really love how this turned out um, I started with a prototype because like I said I saw something similar on Instagram but it was smaller and so this is what I was working on yesterday. I have my measurement there. And so quick tip. If you, if you ever have any pads of paper that you don't like, save it. I used to not save them. Um, but, you know, you can use it for, you know, creating it. Because it doesn't matter if, if you waste it because you don't really like it anyway, I guess. And so this is just some random paper. And I was trying to, you know figure out what I wanted to do and so the only thing I changed was up here I thought you know a circle on foam would be cute kind of like the button that you would press 
on a camera versus having like three hearts here. And so I think, yeah, and then I put a dangle here. You can put a bigger dangle, but I think that's really cute. And this is just using some paper punches and I have some gold thread. I was gonna embellish it more like with flowers, but I thought I'll just keep it simple since this is what I'm gonna um, show and then we can go ahead and make it. So what you'll need is your paper trimmer. So you want to get your paper trimmer out. Um, you're going to need two pieces of paper. Uh, one is going to be 10 by 10. And that's going to be for the box. This main box here. And then for the lid, it's 9 and 1 eighth by 5 and 1 eighth. So I have my papers here already. So we can do it together. So this is my 10 by 10 and this is my 9 and 1 8 by 5 and 1 8 then you're going to need um for the tab which is this tab here that i created for the uh dangle this is going to be two inches by um no three quarters of an inch by two inches and then for the rectangle, if you don't have any rectangle dies, it is two inches by one inch. And that's pretty much all you need to create the box. As far as like the lens, um, if you have dies, you can just, you know, pick what shapes you want and how big you want it. This is what I chose. So the scallop is um, my Fisker's scallop punch, which is two and a half inches. Then I went with a circle, a two inch circle neck. So it's the scallop, the two inch circle, and then it's a one and a half inch circle. And then it's a heart. I made a heart, a one inch heart. So it's two and a half, two, one and a half, and one, if you want it to look like that. Okay, so that's what I used. And when I was making this, I forgot because I wanted to do foam layers on each, under each um, circle here because I wanted it to come out like a camera, but I only put it on the first one. So it would have, you know, been um, coming out this way. If that makes sense. It would have been like one, it would have been a little thicker coming out. So that's something you might want to think about if you're going to go ahead and make this. And so let's see here. We have all our papers so let's start with the 10 by 10 paper so this is the 10 by 10 let's see here so what you're going to do is get your scoreboard i've already pre-scored -pre but um, i'll go ahead and do it with you here so on one of the 10 inch sides um, you're going to sc score it at four and six okay so that's going to be the bottom of the, the camera back box so it's going to go like this so you want to be mindful of your orientation of your paper so you're making the bottom when you're scoring when you're scoring the four and six this thing that's the bottom of the box coming up okay like so like that so then that's the four and the six and then you're going to rotate it once and then you're going to score it at two inches on each, each side two inches and two inches so we're gonna have something that looks like this and then this this is your two inch score here you see that how it's coming coming up coming along here all right so that's the box and then for the lid which is the five and one eighth one eighth by nine and one eighth. So for this one, all you're gonna do is score it at one and a half on all four sides. So all four sides, you're gonna score it at one and a half, okay? And this is for the lid. And then the last thing you need to score is the, the tab. The tab is um, this here that I created and for the tab, 
on the two inch side here. You're gonna score it at half an inch, then turn it, and you're gonna score it on half an inch again. So half an inch on both sides here. And then you can either score it in the middle at one because it's a two inch strip, or you can just fold it in half because essentially what you wanna do is you're gonna fold it in half and then the half, it's gonna look like this. And then that's what you're gonna stick onto the lid. Okay, so that's the um, that's the tab. So that's all you're gonna to need to do for the scoring. So you can put your scoreboard away. And now we have our two pieces here, the box and the lid, and we have our decorations there. So now we'll start with the box. So you wanna go ahead and burnish your score lines. Where's my um, hair, sorry, let's see here. I'll use this. Burnish your score lines, really nice so that your box has crisp edges and corners. Like so, okay. And so you see here, right here you have a line here and a line here. You're gonna cut on both sides. So you're going to cut here and you're going to cut here. And then you're going to, let's see here. So you're going to cut and then you're going to take a sliver off the square. Like so. And then the same on this side. And cut. And take a sliver. And then we're gonna do this, so that's how it's gonna look. We're gonna do that on both sides here, okay? So let's cut. And a sliver. That was not a good cut. Okay. And then again on here. hard to do it when I'm not I can't put it to my face <laughs> so now you want to decide which is your front and which is your back because for me when I like when I glue my boxes together I like the front smooth like you know where you glue it and if this is the end I don't want that to be my front I want my front to be the one going over the back so if it you know whichever pattern you like or if it's, um, you know, the orientation is one way, it'll be correct one way and it's going to come around and be upside down in the back. So you want to be sure however you glue your box together that you like, like the front is what you want. Or if you want it like this, I mean, you could. That's just personal preference. So then you're just going to glue your box. I'm just going to use hot glue for time's sake here. And my glue is getting low. Let me put some more glue in here. All right. All right. So we're just gonna glue it straight on this side. We're gonna glue it. When you use hot glue, it doesn't really give you a lot of time to um, manipulate it. You have to get it right, like right away. Oh, look, and see, I wasn't paying attention. So now my box looks like this. You see what I did? <laughs> Don't do that. So now it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have a, a showing, like this is gonna show on one side. So let's do this side. Let me see. Mm 
Okay. Put that on there. This is the last side here. Perfect. You see, so that's the that's the camera box. And it, I cut it perfect because the edges here are up straight. So that's good. So we did that. And now we have the lid that we scored. So we're going to go ahead and burnish these score lines here. So this is really fun creating. Today I was trying to make I was trying to make another box and I just could not do it. I don't know. Sometimes my creativity it just gets lost. I either have it or I don't. So today I didn't have it. Except for when I made those cameras. But um yeah, so I had a difficult time. I should be working on my swaps, uh, but I just thought I'd do something for me and something fun and something different because this year I want to try something different and maybe make more tutorials. All right, so we burnished all the lines. So we're going to cut tabs here and here and then on this side here and here on these score lines up to this score line. Like a box here, so it's gonna stop at the score line, okay? So let's see here, you're gonna cut. And then you're gonna take a sliver off the square. You're gonna cut again. Take a sliver off the square. And you can do it on the other side if you want to. Sometimes I, most of the times I do that, like if you want, you can take a sliver off this side too. But for this tutorial, let's see. So this is how it's going to look. Let me get rid of all this trash. So this is the lid. And so the lid, you just bring it up the two short sides and the long side, and you're gonna glue it together, and that's gonna be your lid. Okay? So, if you want to, like I said, you can definitely take slivers off this side as well. Just very slight, nothing drastic. Just very, very little. And so what we're going to do is, so this is going to be the cover, the tabs go in, and that's going to be the top of the, that's the top of the camera box. So we're going to go ahead and glue the tabs. I like to glue it while it's on the box just to make sure it fits. So... I'm going to do this and that, hold it together and bring this down, make sure it's even and it is, and then this side here, the same thing, just put some glue and put that down. So there's the box, and here's the one I made. Mm. Here we go. See? This is actually, actually cute together, kind of like a watermelon or strawberry. So we have that. Now, this is the tab that we scored, right? And so, whatever side you want showing on the outside, you're going to fold it in half. So, this is going to be what's going to be showing on the outside. 
then the two scored lines here, you're gonna fold it back. So it should look like this. So it's essentially doing that. And then it's gonna um, be glued on here. But before you glue it on here, you wanna um, punch your hole. So you can use your crocodile. So you can use your, um, your is it a brad? I think it's called brads. But right now, just for this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna use my hole punch. So just find the center. And then you punch your hole. And then for the glue, I just glue around the edges here. I usually um, use um, wet glue for this part, but I'm just gonna do hot glue for the sake of this video here. So now it's, it's together and you wanna kinda center it, whichever side you want it on. I just put it on the right side. You can put it on the, the left side if you want to. So let's see here. You just get it, put your glue, and then try to find the, the center if you can, like so. And that's your tab for your dangle or, or your tassel, whatever you want to um, hang from here. And then last but not least, this is um, right here, the rectangle. So if you have a corner rounder tool, you can use that or just, you know, use scissors and you can round it or you can keep it, you know, sharp if you want. But if you want to round it, this um, rounding measurement, I used the um, four millimeter. So I just use the four. And I would prop it up on some foam, but just for this video, we can just, you know, do it like that. Yeah, so then that's the, um, the box here. And then, you know, you can, like I said, you get your, your layers here, however you want to do it. I used one, two, three four layers, the fourth layer being the heart, but the scallop is one, and then there's two circles, two and a half, two, one and a half, and one. And this circle here is optional, but if you wanna do that, it's um, a one inch circle. I used a die so that the die could cut the, uh, the foam because my punch wouldn't punch the foam. So I used um, a circle die and I measured it. I just used this nesting circle dies here, and that's the one I used, and when I measured it, um, it was one inch. So I used it to cut both the foil paper and the foam. And then this dangle here, I bought from Sweet Crafty Gal. And if you want the measurements for the mats, the mats um, for the box, I'll have that list listed down below. So just know you need two, no, two pieces of paper, one 10 by 10, which is for the box, nine and one eighth by five and one eighth for the lid. And then this rectangle here is two inches by one. And this, this tab here is two inches by three quarters of an inch. So I hope I did this tutorial well, and I hope it was easy to follow. Um, if you have any questions, just, you know, comment down below and I will answer your questions. Um, if not, you can always find me on my Instagram at Jazzy Sweet Stuff. So other than that, um, I think I'm done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all are having a fabulous Tuesday and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.